Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Manav and I have done PhD in physics. So in this video, I will be discussing on the career opportunities after your PhD. So with that being said, let's get started. So after you complete your PhD, you can choose different uh, career options based on your choice. So for example, you can still be in academia and focus on teaching on research work or you can move to an industry or an or a research and development team or you can also go to a corporate job so now let's talk about the career options what you can have after your phd so at number one we have the postdoctoral fellowship yes you can apply for postdoctoral fellowship just immediately after you have completed your phd if you are interested in uh, becoming a researcher or if you are interested in becoming an assistant professor in a university, then a postdoctoral researcher is very um, needed. So typical postdoctoral research associate job lasts for one to five years. A postdoc is like a post PhD experience where you do research under the supervision of a professor, but more or less a bit more independently. In a PhD, your supervisor dictates or advises you on the project and research or writing a paper, but in a postdoc, you are mainly on your own. This helps you to build yourself as an independent researcher. A typical postdoc mainly lasts for three to four years. And if you want to stay in academia or if you want to wish to become a professor or researcher, then you will need a postdoctoral experience of three to four years. Now, the salary of postdoctoral fellows depends from country to country. For instance, if you are doing a postdoctoral fellowship in India, you will be getting a salary of roughly 50,000 rupees per month. On the other hand, if you are doing a postdoctoral fellowship abroad, for example, in Europe, you will be roughly getting a salary of around 2,500 euros per month. Similarly, if you are doing a postdoc in US, you will be earning around 55,000 US dollars per year. Now, if you are doing a postdoc in Canada, you will be getting roughly around 50,000 Canadian dollars per year. So there is a difference in salaries of postdoctoral fellows in different countries. So the salary of postdoctoral fellows in Switzerland, Denmark, Sweden and Australia are higher than the rest of the world. So if you are getting a postdoctoral position in these countries, you will be making a decent amount of money. The second job what you can look for after your PhD is a scientist job. So there are many scientific positions in various national labs across India. For example, you have various national labs like the CSIR, the DBT and the ICMR labs. You can also look for a scientist position in DRDO and ISRO labs. These positions are really competitive and the vacancies are very limited. So the starting salary, what you can expect if you if you join as a scientist in this uh, government institutions is roughly around one lakh rupees per month. So the third job, what you can apply is the assistant professor job. So there are numerous co degree colleges and universities in, across India where you can apply for the position of assistant professors. Most of the universities require PhDs and so once you complete your PhD, you will be eligible for these universities. Now keep in mind that eligibility requirement uh, vary from universities to universities. For example, the research universities uh, require at least three to four years of postdoctoral experience. On the other hand, the regular universities do not require postdoctoral experience. So if you want to join a regular university, you can directly apply after PhD. On the other hand, if you are interested in joining as an assistant professor in a research university, then you might be requiring at least three to four years of postdoctoral experience after your PhD. Now the starting salaries of assistant professors depends on universities to universities. For example, the state owned universities pay a less amount as compared to the central universities. Roughly the salary uh, ranges between 70,000 to 1 lakh rupees per month for the post of assistant professor. The fourth is the industry based research and development jobs. So there are many uh, technical jobs in the research and development sector in uh, various big companies. For example, Samsung, SanDisk, 
Google and IBM they hire lots and lots of PhDs in their research and development team. The salaries in industries are much much higher as compared to that in academia. It depends on your skills and the company and your position. For example, you can get a salary of rupees one lakh to rupees five lakh per month depending on your uh, skills and depending on your position. Moreover, if you are working on quantum computing, there is a lot of opportunity these days because a lot of big companies like Google, IBM, and so on, they are investing heavily on quantum computing products and quantum computing technologies. The fifth job that you can look for after your PhD is an editorial job. You can write books or, or scientific articles or you can be an editor of a scientific journal and they pay a decent amount of money uh, for being an editor. So the sixth job that you can look for is the teaching or coaching jobs. As you know, coaching or education has become a multi-million dollar business. You can join coaching jobs for competitive examinations like IIT JEE or UPSC exams. So the coaching institutes, these are very high paying and very profitable job. I hope you found this uh, video informative. If you like this uh, video, please hit the like button below and consider subscribing the channel. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.